Hi, I'm Bob Nagy, and I'm here today to teach you everything you need to know to use the new HDR FX7 High Definition Camcorder from Sony. Now I'm going to show you an example of what the shutter control actually does. I have Martha holding this uh, parasol over there, and we're in 60th of a second right now. And as I rotate the uh, select push button exec on the back, and go ahead and rotate it, Martha. And we're in 60th of a second right now. As I start, go ahead and a little bit faster. As I start to bring it up, you see how it's not exactly super clear. As I start to bring it up, all of a sudden you see a little bit more crispy rendition here, 180th, 250th. As it spins, you can see there's sort of a shuddering effect good name here for the shutter and as we go a little bit higher you see there's a little bit of a different effect going on there it's sort of freezing the action at 1500th as I go down to 60th of again well it just looks sort of smoother without those crispy looking things you'll notice that in a lot of sports stuff you're gonna see as I pump it up you're gonna see that really crispy effect and it's very useful when you're shooting sports and as you continue to spin I'm gonna go down to 60th of again and then bring it down under 60th now look at that at 30th of a second we're getting that sort of slow mo stuttery MTV type effect and as we go down in 15th, we're really getting an interesting effect. It's integrating the frames. And as we go down to 8th, look at that incredible blur action over there. Wow, down to a quarter, 1 4. Uh, four. And that gives you a complete blur action again at 1 8th, 1 15th, 1 30th, and back up to normal shooting. So there you go, the entire range of effects you can get by adjusting the electronic shutter. Thank you, Martha.